Okay, so let us now we are going to see a different question from what we saw in the last lesson. I pray please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Okay, this one now they are going to give you a table that shows how that man or that woman is going to be taxed. So in this example, we are going to see that. So it says in a certain country the income tax is laid as follows: a person, a person with gross monthly income has some allowances deducted from it before it is subjected to taxation. The allowances are married man, you get this, and married you get this. Children, I mean each child below 11 years, you get 8,000. Then each child between 11 but below 18, you get 5,000. Then the insurance premium, you get 4,000. Then plus four allowances, 17,000. Peter earns 640,000. She is married with four children, six years, ten years, thirteen years, and nineteen years. Given that he is insured, he has the income tax rate below. So this is the income tax rate he has. Calculate his taxable income, income tax, then the net income. To get a taxable income, we need the allowances first. So our allowances are income and the tax rate and allowances. Why are we calculating allowances? Because you know that our taxable income is equal to the gross income, then minus allowances. And that's why I'm calculating allowances at once. Now, you know that Peter is married. So, meaning if you are married, you are going to get this amount. So, he's married. He's married, so he's going to get now 18 thousand shillings. Then each of the way he has. Now he has this one is below eleven and this one is below eleven. Meaning he has kids who are below eleven, below 11 years. So meaning two kids, two kids below eleven. Two kids below below eleven years. Meaning this will be now two times what each is paid. So each king below 11 is paid 8,000 and this will give you 16,000. Okay, then each child above 11 but below 18. He has this one of 13, is above 11 but below 18. For her or him is the hundred fifty thousand. So one king between 11 years but below 18. This one you have of course you just get 5,001 times the 5,000 for that kid it will give you 5,000. Then we come on to say insurance, we say that it's insured, it's insured meaning insurance this man is insured so it's getting 1,000. Because that's the amount of insurance. Then the transport allowance. Then transport. So the transport is getting 17,000. So the total, I think that's all. Given that it's insurance, we have also had that. Okay, so the total there we are going to get. We are going to add this. Okay, this one is let me put it here. So that someone can see it properly. So we are going to have 18. Plus the sixteen plus five plus twelve plus the seventeen. So this man, his allowances are shillings sixty-eight thousand. So that's the amount she gets in allowances. Meaning the now taxable income is taxable income, which we said is going to be the gross minus now. Allowances, which will be now, his gross is 640, then minus the allowances, which are 68,000. And so, the taxable income, this is going to be the amount. So this is the tax of income for that man. 
Then they come and they hear it, they come taxi, come taxi, this is stable. Now, here be careful. These tables are having very so that from 0 to 100 plus thousand is going to be taxed to this. So now what we do, the first tax, let me say the first tax, the first tax because I'm added in the income tax. So the first tax is going to go for the first hundred. What you do, you get this minus this, but the hundred thousand minus zero it remains a thousand, hundred thousand, but it's taxed. 10%. So it will be now 10 over 100, then times the 100,000. And you see that this one is going to give us these two zeros will go. It's going to be 10,000. Then the second tax, the second tax is going to be now when we are subtracting, we ignore this one. This one is just so that this is at the amount above the first 100,000. So, when you are subtracting, we didn't know what this one. So now we shall get the 25, 25 over 1,000, now times the 200,000 minus the 100, which has already been taxed. 100,000. So, this will give you, okay, this will give you a hundred times now this percentage which would be two five thousand this is what you get there and that's what you get there then the second part the third tax comes in when you get this now minus this but you are having a rate of thirty percent so thirty over hundred now times I get this, but I know this one. I told you the reason why we know. Show that it's above this. Just show that it's above this. 200,000. The value you get here, I don't try to read this. This is 0 0.3. I think that is going to be 30,000. Then we come this now between this and this, so we shall get our four. I will get now forty-five over hundred now times now four hundred thousand then minus three hundred thousand, which will give me now this will be forty-five thousand. Now the fifty. They are telling us that 50% of 400 and above. Now, we are not. If it's that your taxable income is above this, it means that what you do, after, after finishing all these ones, you get this, you subtract off this one here. So that's what I'm going to do. Whenever I start this one is beyond the last amount here, it means that in the last tax, tax rate, we are going to get this minus this, then you will try to raise it. The tax limit. So this is going to be now, give it over 100, then times. Now this amount here, 5,720,000, then minus the 400,000. What amount am I going to be having there? I'm going to be having 172 times. So here I'm going to be having. So now my income tax we add all those ones. So the income tax is going to be we add our ten thousand, then plus the twenty-five thousand, then plus the thirty thousand, then plus the forty-five thousand, then plus eighty-six thousand. And what do we get there? We have 10 plus 5, plus 30, plus 5, plus 86. The answer we get is shillings, 196,000. So this is the taxable income. So that's the amount they get after taxing this man. Then the net income, so now our part C, our net income, 
our net income is said it's given by the gross income then minus the income tax which will be now our gross this money was having 640 thousand then minus the income tax which is 19600 and this will be now shilling we start with the shillings on the inside that we don't forget it So this, amount, this man, this is the amount of money he is getting after the end of the month. Then part B, the head must that express, the, express his income tax as a percentage of his gross. So here the percentage is going to be the percentage of the income tax is going to be, the head must that express it as a percentage of the gross. That's going to be the income tax for four thousand over 640 thousand then times a hundred and what we get there these two zeros of course they go then four four divided by 640 so this is going to be 69.4 so that's the, if we express it that's what we get so remember that's how we handle this one now we are going to see when they are giving you some allowances in terms of years yet they are giving us gross in monthly how we handle them i wish you well